Hi, when you started up this video, all you had to do was choose the file and click play on the computer. If you think about it, this is actually quite amazing. Back when movies and motion pictures first became available in the early 1900s, the only way to view them was by going to a movie theater like the one to my right. These movies were shot on film and then viewed in theaters on a projector, very similar to today. Between the 1950s and early 70s, some movies could be viewed late after the theatrical run by being broadcasted on TV. Still, there was no real way to own and view a movie, unless you owned a projector. In the 70s, VHS and video cassette came along. This new format took several years for it to become the new standard for di video distribution, but eventually became a way for the masses to own their own copies of videos. DVD was released in 1995 and was developed by Philips, Sony, Toshiba, and Panasonic. DVDs were much easier to create and copy than VHS, so this eventually became the new standard. These optical discs had much more storage capacity, making way for selection menus, special features, and much more. Next came the Blu-ray format. Blu-rays are a high-definition format that allow high data transfer, and one could argue they're becoming the new standard with UHD and HD overtaking standard definition. While Blu-rays are becoming the new physical standard, video distribution also took a separate path at the same time. Videos and movies are now being distributed online digitally. Entire movies can be viewed online with paid subscription services. These services allow users to watch thousands of full-length movies and TV shows via streaming. So as you can see, video distribution has gone through many evolutions. First with film and now streaming, people have viewed videos and movies in many different ways. Who knows what will be the next standard of video distribution?